coming with ground beef. It's raw ground beef and then I use my new bait that I made last night out of biscuits. I got a big channel cat on here. I saw him once. He broke the surface just before I started to stream live. He's just staying down. He's got to be 10-15 pounds. Come on up here. It's a whopper. Maybe biggest one of the whole week. down again. Whoa. Come on up here. There he is. There he is. Let's see if I can get him up out of there. The pinchers. go. Oh, he's a monster. Monster. <laughs> yeah, I guess he goes about ten pounds. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, let's get a picture of him. Ooh, slimy. Mr. Slimy. That is a whopper.
So how's that for the first fish of the day? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's put him back in water. Woo! Yeah! Whoa! Did you see that fish? You like that fish, Atlantic Green? <laughs> I've been chumming with ground beef. Just raw ground beef. I threw about a, almost a half a pound. Little bitty pieces all out there. I'm fishing with some new uh, bread ball bait that I made. I used uh, honey biscuits, cheese, ground beef and garlic powder baked them in the oven there's more proof they catch big channel cats yeah let's get some more <laughs> let's get another one Whew. that's a fish Bait up again here. And what a way to start your day, right? I made a bunch of those little biscuit balls last night. See if we can get another one bigger than that. Might be a giant catfish day. Oh, yeah. Score. Down you go. Fresh baits on Mr. Wobbly. Let's see what's down there. <laughs> yeah. Gonna feel good to catch big fish. <laughs> and remember, I'm out here fishing in the sticks, so you don't have to. <laughs> Baiting up with my little bread balls. Really, they're biscuit balls. Honey biscuit balls. This is about the size that I'm using. About as big as your thumbnail. And these are, uh, I think, number five circle hooks. These are ultralight poles with 10 pound test. Fish on. Huh? 
Yeah, raw ground beef. That's a fish. Let's see if we can get some more. That was unexpected. <laughs> I'm seeing some bluegills out there hitting the top of the water, but I can't seem to get them too interested. They like to chum. Speaking of which, I think I'll do a little more chumming here with, uh, with some bread. I'm using uh, hot dog buns. come with biscuit balls <laughs> I used to use those last year and caught a lot of fish with them nice clean stink bait you know I call it a stink bait because it's not fresh fish it's right, chum got some bread Rub it together. Makes thousands of baits, little chumlets. The water's just clouded with chum from the bread. Just one little uh, hot dog bun. Uh oh, we're getting some action on the white rod again. Like little nibblers. Low tide right now, it's starting to come in. Right, yeah. Fish. Double dog dare you to eat that. Yeah, that's some fish. Whew. I was liking that. I need to get a landing net instead of those pliers. Those are my fish grabbers. That darn sun's right in our eyes again. I'm going to toss some more ground beef out there. I bought the cheapest ground beef they had at Walmart yesterday. It was $3 a pound. No use in giving them the good stuff, right? <laughs> that fight must have scared all the fish away. Might take a couple minutes for them to come back. That big sucker was all over the place. All right, let's chum with some ground beef. There it is, fresh ground beef. Just 
smack it down in the water and it spreads out everywhere. Oh yeah. They like that sound too. It sounds like fish feeding. See if we can chum up some biggins. Ground beef, man. <laughs> Yeah. Fish on. You know the song Fish On by Primus? Fish on. Let's check our baits. Still got them. Stuff stays on the hook pretty well. Got some of them while I was downstairs. Come on, fishies. Like that white rod's getting some action. Little nibblers. Wow. Just never know what you can catch fishing on the back porch fishing show. Man, that was a whopper. Right at the beginning of the stream, too. Woo! Uh-oh. Wobbly's getting some action. Those little farts are pecking at it. We dare you to eat that. What a nice way to start the day with a 15 pound channel cat. Or 10 pounds at least. We'll let everybody use their own judgment there. Man, he put up a whopping fight. Right at the beginning of the stream too. You can back it up and look at it if you want. It's on there. I got some uh, 
still shots of it too and then some on another camera I had a chest harness camera on so I got it from a couple of angles an octopus from Atlantic Drain hey Sailor James you just missed a big fish man you can back it up and look at it though whopper at least 10 pound channel cat fat 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 come on fishies we dare you fishies Got that sun right in our eyes again. Not really much I can do about that. I don't have too many more places to put the camera. Well, I might figure out one someday. I ordered a new cam last night. Should be here Monday afternoon. Hopefully we'll have some better uh, video. Heck, the microphone on that other cam doesn't even work. <laughs> I have to use the laptop to to uh, to get sound, the mic on the laptop. But it seems to be picking it up pretty good. Everybody hear me okay? I just chummed up with a bunch more uh, ground beef. You believe that I'm chumming with raw ground beef? Just throw a handful of it out there and really smack it down on the water. It spreads out everywhere and sinks right to the bottom. I think that big fish scared a lot of them away. He put up a heck of a tussle and was all over my fishing hole. <laughs> digging deep, digging high, splashing around. Ah, uh, so we can hear my my uh stream that's cool i wish that sun would find some clouds or hurry up and move out of the way where's all the fish we know they're in there <laughs> we just saw a whopper Anybody remember Whoppers, uh, uh, what are they, malt chocolate, malt, uh, little balls of malt covered in chocolate? Whoppers! I think that's what they were called. I used to love those things. Mm. I'll have to post up a, a short video of the fish that I got on the uh, chest harness. Should have a little better view. I got some still pictures of it to put on thumbnail. And I got coffee this morning. Yahoo! Thanks to everybody's wonderful donations. Thank you so much. I love Super Chat. Alright, let's go back out there and chum them up some more. Got another hot dog bun for them. Yeah. Hot dog bun. Hot dog. Mr. Wobbly's getting a nibble.
not too interested in those little nibblers. <laughs> hey, fish a fish, right? This is my after Christmas special. <laughs> Chum them up, chum them up. Just take a hot dog bun, smash it, rub it together, rip it in half, and do it like that, and it just makes thousands of little baits. Cloud the water with chum. Trying to get some of them bluegills in here. It's already been a big fish day. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sit down here and oh, take a breather for a minute. He must have went down there and warned everybody. <laughs> Don't eat the biscuit balls. Uh. They must be too busy eating the chum to eat the biscuit balls, right? They like a raw hamburger. Who ever thought of chumming with raw hamburger? And I'm here to say it works. Little nibblers on Mr. Wobbly. That's the orange rod. Little peckers pecking away. Well, I know it's going to be a big fish day. It already has been. It's hot out there today. Whew. Hooray for Florida, right? I don't know why people want to live up north. Not very bright. <laughs> it's not very bright live up there in the great white north. Especially in wintertime. Yuck. Come on, fishy. I think they'd be going nuts for all that chum in the water. No 
sure I would be. <laughs> it's like hamburgers and cheeseburgers everywhere. Yeah, as soon as I hit that stream live now button, that white rod went down. 10 pound channel. Yahoo! Yahoo! Right, right, right. A nice day. Oh, wish it was cloudy. It's hot. Definitely chummed up some predators, you know, with that uh, raw ground beef, that bloody ground beef. I'm using uh, cheese and honey biscuits, ground beef, and garlic powder to make my biscuit balls. That's what they look like. They look like that. <laughs> I cooked him up last night. Got a whole bag full of them. I'm here to say they work. They work really well. Caught that one right on the tide change. It was uh, slack, low tide, and, and just starting to come in. The uh, So Lunar table says in about an hour, they're supposed to go off like fireworks. One of the best days of the month. We'll see, right? this stream going for a while I love fishing <laughs> it's not work it's fun right it's fun not work The little shiners are tearing this up. Maybe I should cast net a couple of them, huh? I can't believe it's so slow after that. You know, you get a giant fish and then nothing. At least we got it on cam, right? At least we got them on two cameras. A lot of people can fish all their life and never catch a 10 pound channel cat. Not to say that they're rare, but a lot of people don't catch them.
got some floating chum out there. The shiners are tearing it apart. So the fish are feeding. We just got to get them to find our bait, right? Now this one's fishing on borrowed time, but they got the bait. No wonder. Put some big ones on here. The bigger the bait, the bigger the fish, right? We'll find out. I hardly ever use uh, dough balls this big. Usually I tear it in three, four pieces. I'm going to have to put a split shot on there to sink it. It's got a lot of air in it. We got a whole school of shiners out there. They're just tiny though, eating the bait, floating on the water. A lot of it doesn't sink too well. Let's see if one split shot will get it down. Two split shots. hate when they get all tangled up.
Sinking now. Starting to see some bigger golden shiners in there. I might get the net out and catch some. It's good bait. Oh, Mr. Wobbly had a pretty good bite there. Nothing. <laughs> There we go. Action Jackson. Eesh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fish. Number two. Putting up a good tussle. Nothing like that big one, though. Let's see what we got here. Fish on. What do we got? Like big bullhead. Four pound range. Mr. Bowhead. Not a bad fish. That last one could have ate him. Let's get out the magic hook out. Gotta have it, gotta have it. What's the magic word? Contact! Uh, na, 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 na. Ah, Contact! Yeah! Alright, so they like the big pieces. Use split shot to sink them to the bottom. Trying to catch one of those shiners. There's some of them in there about as big as my foot. So that's number two. Got three four pound bullhead, ten pound channel cat. Got one rod baited up back in the water, and another one trying to catch some of these big shiners that I see down there. That'd be some good bait. Maybe catch some bass. What's well, hot out there?
times like this you wish you didn't take the air conditioner out. What's up, Chris? Back to the lizard. Shiners pick that thing clean. I don't have any little hooks to catch them with. Straight down, just like deep sea fish. <laughs> Yeah, fishing. Back porch fishing show. Remember, I'm way out here in the sticks fishing, so you don't have to. Just tune in to my live broadcast. Sit back with a cold beer. And let's catch some fish. I might have to make another pot of coffee. I think I will. Everybody holler if we got a fish on. Now, I hadn't seen any bass, Chris. Just, uh, I see some big shiners, though, about the size of my foot. They're, they're picking off the pieces of uh, bait floating on top of the water. Yeah, let's put a white shirt on. That's a good idea, James. It's hot out there. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've got sweat on top of sweat. Let's put on my Bermuda fishing shirt. This is what the... Rich guys in Bermuda wear, right? <laughs> I say, yeah. Yeah, the only problem is I don't see too many bass here. Otherwise, you know, there'd be lots of uh, fishermen. <clears throat> well, don't work too hard, man. Work's a bad word out here on the dock. We just, we don't talk about it. <laughs> this is a bad word. What's going on? What's happening? What's going on? All right, we got our Bermuda fishing shirt on. Uh, 
This is one of those luminous specials, or lumen specials, whatever they are. Like a $50 shirt, right? <laughs> you believe people pay 50 bucks for a shirt? Or more? I find it hard to believe, but what are you going to do? Where'd my sunglasses go? Oh, here they are. It's bright out there. I don't have a small container. I got a big live well, James. I know they like cut shiners, those big channel cats and bullheads. They'll eat the crap out of uh, cut bluegill and cut shiners, as well as live ones, too, you know. in white fisherman with his Bermuda fishing shirt on. Have to go out and get some of those bone fishers. Get some bone fish. Let's chum it with some more ground beef. I got about a quarter pound of ground beef left. Just let them have it. <laughs> let them have it. <laughs> Pow, <beer. laughs> Cast net. <laughs> That's no fair. It's not fair at all. This fish, I always ha have something. This is cool. When I throw the cast net, just before it hits the water, you scream, surprise! <laughs> All right. Chumming ground beef. Chumming ground beef. Here we go. I just slam it into the water, and it splatters everywhere. Little piece about like that. Hits the water, it just explodes. Chum everywhere. Bloody chum. Bloody hell. That'll get them excited. Got me excited. <laughs> I think I can get some more shade in here. By tilting the beamy top a little bit towards me. Let's find out. That's cool. <laughs> That's what those beamy tops are for. Is it bimini? I don't know. Beamy, bimini, shade. <laughs> it's 
been a, a white rod day all day so far. Nothing on the Mr. Wobbly, the orange rod. What is it with that? Some days you get them all on one color rod. Chum or they won't come, right? Uh oh, white rod. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, I got something. Oh, he got off. I think that was a bluegill. Double D darn. I'd like to see some more bluegills. I only caught one in about the last six months. I don't know what's with that. This place used to be Bluegill City. Back down. It's nice to have a little shade.
just relax. Just kick back and relax. Some back porch fishing. So far out in the sticks, we don't even have Popeye's chicken. Can you imagine that? Life without Popeye's? I hear they go crazy for that chicken sandwich. <laughs> Those young teenagers, as they call them, are killing everybody for a damn chicken sandwich. Imagine what they do for your wallet when they rob you. Jeez kill you for a chicken sandwich, what would they do for your wallet? And they call them teenagers. You believe that? You know what it is as soon as they call them a teenager, right? I know I sure do. Otherwise they'd call it a white man. Right away too. It was a white man and he killed him for a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Now it took three days for him to admit that it was a black guy that did it. That's just wrong. Our news media is way out of control. Way out of control. They're the ones responsible for all the hatred going around about Trump and then the Democrats and all, they, they have divided our country in half, primed it for a civil war. We'll kick those libertards' asses, man. <laughs> they can't even be foolish enough to think they have a chance against real men. These, these clucks that transvestites and God knows what else man that's what we're fighting that's what Trump is battling transvestites perverts it's the way it seems couldn't be much of a battle I'll tell you <laughs> they can't run too fast in their high heels, right? Sooner or later, they're going to tell us that it's okay to go get them and they taste just like chicken.
It's hard to believe I can land those big catfish in this little space without getting wrapped around a, a pillar or a dock, a boat, something, but never happens ever. And, and if it does wrap around a pillar, I just wait till they unwrap themselves. <laughs> one of them. Put a big one on there. Huh? <laughs> you sure catfish, huh? Here, fishy. Sun starting to move out of the camera. That's cool. Tired of that. Amazing how they just stop fighting all the sun and wait till that moon gets bright again or the sun, whatever, the tide, and they're back again. Pa pow! Question is, where do they go when they're not biting? They're making fish whoopy. I got slimed up pretty good from that big catfish picking it up and showing everybody on the camera. Then I got fish slime, slimer. From Ghostbusters. You stinky. Try some alcohol. Get that smell off. Yep. Smell like a channel cat. I didn't touch the bullhead. <laughs> I didn't want to touch that catfish, but you know. It's nice to pick it up and give everybody a close-up view of it, right? And where else can you watch a fishing rod all day long? It's just like being there, you know? But you don't have to even leave your easy chair. Except to get another beer. Beer! <laughs> Get some beer.
So we got two of them so far. One 10 pound channel cat. One three four pound bullhead. And we're still fishing. It's slow, but it's a big fish day. Oh yeah, I was gonna make some more coffee. You gotta do something. <laughs> Put on my Bermuda fishing shirt. This is what they fly fish for them bone fish with, right? What's going on out here? Nothing. <laughs> Just a couple of rods waiting for a jerk to come along. <laughs> One guy waiting for a jerk. <laughs> Sitting in his boat waiting for a jerk. Here we go. Let's make some coffee. Folgers coffee crystals. No, it's not instant. Straight up, ground up coffee beans. Pair that up with some Snickers coffee creamer. We're in business. Make it double strength. I used to fish for bullheads with chunks of uh, beef stew, you know, raw, chunked up, cheap cuts of meat that they use in beef stew and used to do pretty good. Looks like they like that raw hamburger though, that brings the big ones in. Chum it up. It's
Alright, I got a pot of coffee halfway done. Coming, and they'll stop coming, right? Should be prime time for fishing. So Lunar Table says it's off the charts. Guess we did catch a pretty good one though. Well, you can bet if he's doing a job, he's going to get paid, and you should ask him to get some bat gas and tell him you'll give him a little bit extra, you know, when he brings it back, because he's got the money. He doesn't need your money. Yeah, he's doing a job in somewhere with his dad. He's going to get paid. Shit.
Dickens. Well, I'm going to end this stream. Might start out, do some fishing a little bit later after the tide comes in a little more. Fishing's just too slow for me right now. But I did catch a couple of nice, you know, big ones there. If you go back to the beginning of this live stream, you can see a big channel cat. When I say big, I mean it's bigger than most people ever catch in their life. To most people, a five, six pound channel cat's a monster, you know. I guess it just depends on where you're fishing at. But, tight lines, everybody. Thanks for watching the Back Porch Fishing Show. Remember, I'm out here fishing in the sticks, so you don't have to.